All right, YouTube, what's going on? I'm coming at you with a new kind of video for me. Something I've never done before, a watch review. Now, I've been into watches for a long time. And for some reason, I haven't really ever done a review on one. Not that I can recall anyway. So we're going to go ahead and uh, knock one out here today on this G-Shock that you see in front of you. And, uh, you know, give me your feedback. Let me know how you think, what you think of the watch reviews. Something you want me to keep doing on the channel. Um, some tips and pointers. I'm glad to take them. So starting off, this is a G-Shock I've been wanting for a long time, and I'm not like a collector really of G-Shocks or anything like that, but this is one that I've really wanted to get for a while. This is a Mudman, specifically the Mudman G9300. Let's see if you can make that out. Come on, camera. G9300 mud resistant mud man. Notice how it's got the north south on there. That's because it has a built in compass. So this is the 9300. This is a solar model. Exactly what I wanted. So this, this pretty much, um, this watch had all the features I wanted in it. It had the solar, so I didn't have to worry about a battery. At least not for a long time anyway. Um, it's because it just recharges the battery there with the solar, similar to like my uh, Citizen Eco Drive. It's got a compass, so when I'm out in the woods, the mountains, so I don't get lost. And God, it's got some all over the case, is what it's got. And because I've been wearing this quite a bit, it has a thermometer function, which is another function that I find pretty useful, especially when I'm out camping and you know helping you know what temp the temperature is can really be a uh, you know, a survival type situation can be a big deal. So, knowing how cold it's going to be, how cold it is outside, on how cold it is in your like your tent, because when you have this on your body, it uh, it's pretty much just going to read your body temp. It's always higher, but if you take this off and like hang it in your tent or something, you can get a pretty accurate reading. So, um, other than that, world time, it's got some world, a world time mode, which is nice. You can see it's got the uh, the the time, the date day of the week there. You also have like a daylight savings time which is nice so it automatically changes with daylight savings. You don't have to go in and manually do that. That's one of my favorite features of the watch. Kind of cycle through the modes. You got a, a uh, stopwatch mode here. There's your world time. You want to set it for somewhere else. Excuse me, that's the stopwatch mode. Uh, I believe that other mode was the moon mode. You got your timer functionality, alarm, and so you so you've got basic functions. You got the uh, let's see if I can get that to show up on camera. Indiglo, which is good. It's not the best, but it's it's good. Um, does the job when you just see it in the in the dark. You can hit that button and bam, there you go. So the appeal of G Shocks is obviously the toughness of them, uh, shock resistance. Uh, it's got a nice band. I mean, it's obviously plastic polyurethane band, but it's. It's comfortable to wear. Um, kind of give you an idea what the take off my Seiko here. You can look forward. I'll probably be reviewing that one in the future. Just kind of want to give give you an idea what it looks like on wrist. Um, I know if I was watching a knife review, or excuse me, a <laughs> knife review, a watch review, I'd want I'd want to know what it looks like on wrist. And I have medium sized hands, medium sized wrists. I'd say. Um, so, you know, it doesn't look, it's not too big, it's very comfortable, it's lightweight, um, the watch weighs, let's get out the scale, it's pretty lightweight, I mean, it's, it's something you can definitely wear all day long, yeah, 2.4 ounces, so it's very light, um, very comfortable to wear all day, you are kind of stuck with this band, as far as I, my knowledge is concerned, it, the uh, G-Shocks kind of take a proprietary size. They don't have, you know, you can't just throw like a NATO band on them like that, which is kind of kind of unfortunate. But this knife, is for, I keep saying knife because I'm so used to doing knife reviews. This watch for me um, is is one that I'll wear when I'm outdoors, when I'm doing things, you know, outside. Um, it's you know I wear it quite often. I've worn it for the last couple weeks as an EDC. Worn it every day, and it's been it's done great. I mean, it's, it keeps good time. Um, one thing I really like is it's kind of a different feature, but when you uh, have it off at night and take it off your wrist, leave it on your nightstand or whatever, it uh, when you wake up in the morning, it's the screen's completely blank. Like you kind of 
kind of have this panic mode, like, oh my gosh, the knife is the, I said knife again. <laughs> it's going to be a joke here. Um, the watch, well then, as soon as you hit, like, you know, movement, and you, uh, you know, put in the light, it then automatically turns on, and you didn't lose any time, and everything is, is perfect. So, you can tell this, this uh, is going to last, I mean, you really should never have to replace the battery, it'll outlast the watch. Um, I think they're slated to last about 30 years before they actually need to be replaced. Now, it's kind of deceptive because it looks like it says, you know, it's tough solar, like there's no battery, but there is a battery that is just constantly charged by the uh, the sunlight, which is a really cool feature. So, uh, like I said, similar to an, an Eco Drive on a Citizen. So it's got a really um, good sized face. I mean, it, it's part of the Mudman series, so it's big. Robust, it's tough. I mean, it's going to take a licking. Um, show you how the compass works here. And you can see the little uh, north, south, east, west up there in the corner. When you hit that side button, it cycles. And that is pointing southeast. Which, where am I at my house? Yep, that is correct. It's more east than south, but it definitely is pointing southeast. And it gives you the temperature there as well. You can see it says 78.8, um, which is high. You know, in my in my home right now, it's probably about 70 degrees. Um, outside, it's about 50. No, it's, it's chilly. Let's see, what is it outside? 25 degrees right now. So... Anyway, so you know, if you leave it off your wrist for a while, it'll get an accurate reading. But the compass works really well. Um, I have a cheaper Casio, which has a compass. It's not a G-Shock model, and I found that the compass on it doesn't work all that great. This has definitely been accurate, which is a you know, for me, it was a key feature of this watch. So, um, see if there's anything else I need to cover off the top of my head. You have a search functionality, which I'm not sure what that does exactly but well actually that, that's actually helping that helps you set the time zone for the daylight saving that's right so it's a really great watch um, definitely a big fan of G-Shocks I always have I've had a few over the years and they've always lasted forever um, but I've kind of been on a kick lately of watches and my biggest concern not concern but requirement is that it doesn't need a battery. Um, that you know, that's why I'm leaning towards automatic watches or the solar watches. Because for me, it's just a pain in the butt to continually have to change batteries, um, to you know, have to buy the watch batteries and either take them in to get them replaced, or I have the tool set to do it. A battery change on watches, which I've done a couple today actually. But with watches like this that are that are water resistant to a certain depth, um, this one's 20 bar. Um, you know, you, you worry about resealing the watch correctly um, and those kind of things. So it's nice not to have to worry about it with this particular model. So again, this is the first knife, or uh, I said knife again, first watch review I've done in, on my channel that I can remember. And hopefully it wasn't um, too much rambling. Hopefully you got some good information out of it. It's the G-Shock G9300 mud resistant mud man with the compass and thermometer functionality. Um, it's got a classic G-Shock look to it. I like the red accents, you know, with the black, especially around the, the, the compass area there. That's pretty cool. So definitely a slick looking watch. Uh, very useful. Great EDC item. Great for uh, using outdoors. Um, yeah, I think uh, I, I've definitely been enjoying it and I'm definitely going to keep this one for a long time. So. Hope you like the video. If any comments, uh, suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.